Ooh, my downstairs neighbours are so loud today. <laughs> oh, they're so kind teeth. Hi and welcome to another Frivolous webisode. Today I'm bringing you a very quick kind of makeup tutorial because I had a request from, I think, Dania from The Acting Edit asking me to show you how to do a brown and gold eye look, which is one of the most <laughs> done things on the YouTube, so I'm adding to it. Yay! So this was... Um, Lightly based on the Samantha Ravendor uh, New Year's, I think, tutorial in which she created just a um, a spotlight eye or a halo eye in which she added just a stripe of sheen down the center. I really like that. So that's what I try to not recreate but adapt today but using only two eyeshadows as my whole look base. And at the end I added... A bit of glitter and fun in case you want to go out and go all out. I used Stila, but as I've shown, there are a plenty of liquid, shimmery, goldy eyeshadows in the market. Golds, I don't find they suit me that well, so I go, usually I lean towards more of a champagne-y gold. So keep that in mind, adapt to your skin tone and whatever you prefer. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this uh, little tutorial and I hope I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next and also share my channel so that more people can join us. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for spending your time on B, on B, on me and bye! Jump, cut to the tutorial. Hey, so it's me with a voiceover. I'm using the ColourPop Dream Street palette, but you just think of what you have that is brown and then matte brown and then a gold and you're good to go. As the matte brown, I'm using Elfish, which is again the matte brown and I'm using it on the outer corner and inner corner of my eyes. I'm starting with a fluffy brush just to apply a little cloud of color. And then later on, I'm going to take a smaller denser brush just to apply a little bit more of concentrated pigment where I wanted to but I'm leaving kind of a strip in the middle to fill in later but this will be left blank. I was extremely stupid let me tell you because uh, Samantha left an actual strip, a very thin strip, blank on the eyes and I tried that once and it looked amazing. And Today, when I try to replicate it, I just left it too wide. So play along with the dimensions. I am now just blending slightly over my um, crease, which is normal. And I'm just slowly building up color. I just pick up very little pigment every single time, even with this uh, denser, smaller brush. And I just apply it where I need it, and I see if I need extra blending, what has faded, what hasn't, and then blend again. You get the gist. You know me. I always do my eyes the same way. For the gold, I'm using Sweet Dreams, also from the Colourpop palette. As I said, I'm not a big fan of very yellowy golds on me, but you go for whatever you'd like, and I'm applying it to the center. Again, I'm an idiot, and I've applied it too widely, but yeah. I'm just cleaning off my smaller brush and I'm slightly blending the edges so that the gold bleeds into the brown. Now I'm lining my inner rims, you know, Marc Jacobs highliner, you know how it goes. I'm just trying not to show you myself removing my eyeball. Then I've cleaned up under my eyes with concealer. Mind you that I already had foundation on, noticing the flecks of shimmer on my hair, beautiful. On my lower lash line, I went again with Elfish, just smoke it out. You can always use sort of a lighter mid-tone brown to smoke the color out, but I felt like I didn't need that, so there you go. Mascara, caution mascara. One of you asked me how it looks on me right now, here it is. I really like this mascara, truly. It doesn't bleed, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake. And it's not waterproof, so it's not a pain to remove in the evening. Ha! Ah, perfect! I did a bit of an effort with my brows using the Karl Lagerfeld and Model Co. pencil, which is really worn down, and I had to use a spoolie. Mm -hmm. 
so then I used a bit of powder and I went with Bitten by NYX, which is an HD blush, I believe. It just gives you a bit more of a flush instead of a corally hue to the cheeks. I like it. As my highlighter, I used Flexitarian from ColourPop. Another good one is Wisp, which is slightly more golden. I just blended it out a little bit with the brush, so it's more subtle. You can always use a little bit of that on your inner corner, and that's just what I did. And then, then proceeded for the lips. I'm using NYX uh, Lip Pencil in Mahogany. I think this is one of the suede ones. I just line my lips and then I went with uh, the Essence Color Up Shine On lipstick in number 11. If you want Marc Jacobs gloss stick for a very, very affordable price, look no further. This just doesn't have the shimmers and it's so beautiful and it smells nice and it tastes good. But oh wait, for an extra pop of gold, I just applied a liquid eyeshadow with glitter on the center and there you go, day to night and all that jazz. This last one is optional, but there you go, this is the finished look. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me thumbs up, subscribe, share my channel, and as usual, thank you for spending your time on me and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!